guys. Hey. So we are back today with another Trader Joe's haul. When I was in Texas, a lot of you guys at the meetup, if you're watching this, hello, a lot of you guys at the meetup said that the Trader Joe's hauls were like your favorites. So we have fun doing them anyways. So we thought we would show you what we got. So let's just go back and forth. I'll you start. Okay. First thing I got, chocolate cat snacks. Mmm, I like these things because when I'm craving something that's sweet, um, they're just, they're not that intense. They're not too sweet. There's not a ton of ingredients in them. There's not a ton of calories. And I only eat like a couple, and this tub lasts me for like a century. But it's so. just the most unappealing name ever. I didn't even know they were for people until I was at Michaela's house. Yeah, exactly. I was like, these are for people? I thought they were for cats. Um, I'll start with my favorite thing that Trader Joe's sells, so I had to buy two, scalloped, wrapped, and bacon. These are so good. You really like them. Now that you eat meat, you're going to have to try this. Oh, I don't want that. It's I don't, uh, by the way, side note, a ton of people have been asking me lately, I do eat You don't meat really now. eat meat still. Yeah, he kind of makes fun of me because I do sometimes, I mean, I've been Ooh. eating fish now for a while since like last year, but now when I say I eat meat, it's just that like I don't avoid it like the plague. So if there's ever, I don't know, I just eat it so rarely because I don't like it, but Maybe I eat it sometimes. Like it. The next thing we got are these Trader Joe's social snackers, which last time we bought these, they actually went bad before we could eat them all because there's a crap ton in here. But they're really good with That's these. That's because we're not very social in our apartment. Uh, yeah, no, not so much. It's just us. And then we um, they got these Trader Joe's sharp cheddar cheese cracker cuts. So these go really, really great together. So there's that. I bought my Trader Joe's childhood snack white cheddar popcorn, which is very unfortunate. They used to have a jalapeno flavor. Um, and I think the bag was green, but... Why do I feel so much taller than you right now? What the heck is happening? It's your hair. No, look at my shoulders. Sorry. I think it's my shoes. I didn't shrink, probably. That's funny. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Anyways, they discontinued the... the um, jalapeno flavor? Yeah, they discontinued the jalapeno flavor. 1994 or something like that. It was really Long sad. Time ago. When I was homeschooled, I just sit on the floor and do my work and just eat it all day. Oh yeah, she told me that oh, was wow. Maybe we should, uh, I don't know, riot and have them bring it back. Let's not riot. Oh, that was my my phone. I just got a new iPhone and I need to turn off the vibrating I text. thought Bowser farted. No, but he's been doing a lot of that too. My house smells gross. He just farted. Uh, we have the window and the door open, even though it's freezing out because it's been smelling so gross. Okay, so we got this French onion soup with croutons and Swiss cheese. Super, super, super good. I mm. think we probably pick that up every time we go to Trader Joe's. Yeah, every time. Next thing, I picked out this celery. It's probably my favorite vegetable. Um, I do bumps on a log. Ants on a log. log. You know, you sit there like a bump I'm on a kidding. log. Last time I had that, I was in kindergarten, and I don't like celery that much. I had those a few weeks ago, the bump, the ants on a log. I got it for celery juice. No, 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 no. I did. I did like a couple, maybe it was like last year, I think I went out and bought celery just to put peanut butter in there. Really? Yeah. Oh. Maybe I'll do that later. Well, I am planning on making juice with those, and then we're also cooking and making, I'm going to make some soup and some other stuff actually for a main channel video, so I, I love celery and soup, Tonight, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. We're going to eat all the food from my video, which I'm also making this in the video because so many people have asked, and this is basically, I'm not going to tell you what the video is, but I'm going to be putting these in the video, and these are globe artichokes. I love artichokes, and these looked like they were perfectly ripe. They're so good, and artichokes, when you make them, they save really well. So if you make them and you don't finish them, you can wrap them in cellophane or cellophone, whatever it's called, put it in the fridge, and they last really, really well. You just save a little side of like garlic aioli dip, and then, oh, my favorite vegetable. Pretty good. Next to green beans. All right, I bought Bowser, some new dog treats, and uh, let's try these out. Bowser! Come here. Sit. Oh. Here, little Zoe. Little rabbit is rat. Aww, little baby. 
Okay, we changed out the Scentsy Cube because it smells so gross in here. So Thanks, Bowser. Yeah, Bowser. The next thing we got are these artisan bread rosemary rolls. It's Parmesan and Asiago cheese like drizzled on the top and they're Parmesan rosemary rolls. I like these because I really like making like either tuna sandwiches or veggie sandwiches on these little rolls and it's just like perfect. It's a little sandwich. Unbelievably good. I cannot rave about these those bread rolls. Those are really good. Oh no. And we like using this cheese on those sandwiches. That's our favorite cheese I think like of all time. It's kind of one of those funky tasting cheeses but in a really good way. They were sampling at one time and we tried it and it was like really good. It's so, so good guys. It's so we, good. I think we buy this every time we go to Shader Goods too. Well the next thing we got is this tomato and basil hummus dip. My favorite hummus hands down. Actually, if you guys saw our Nikki Shoots a Gun vlog, um, our friend Darcy, she brought this when we were in the recording studio with her boyfriend Dan, and she brought it over as a snack, and I was like, oh no, I'm good, but then I tried it. This stuff is in freaking incredible. I love it. So good. Orange juice. Two jugs of orange juice. Bought two. I put it in the in the basket and then Nikki did, not knowing that I already put it in there. So. Oops. Oh well. Another drink. drink one tonight. Another drink we got two of are the blueberry and pomegranate green teas. Yeah. I've been buying this tea for so long and I love it. I pour it into a like I only drink it iced. I don't drink it warm. So I bought the green chili <gasps> tamales. They have chicken and beef. Oh. But are those ones good? Yeah. The, I, I like these ones the best. Okay, then we got uh, a bag of lemons and a bag of limes. You, I feel like we can never have too many lemons and limes. Ginger. Ooh, I like these yeah, the Southwest quesadillas. Um, if you buy these, don't do it in the microwave. Heat up. <laughs> what was that? Because I've seen you when you've heated them before and you're like, Bowser. Yeah, don't do it in the microwave. Um, just heat up a pan with vegetable oil or olive oil and then fry it better. up so it's like the tortilla is crispy and it tastes a lot better. Yeah, when it's it microwaved it looks all soggy and gross. This pasta, I've been eating it for years so that if there's ever days that it's like, dude, I need food, I need food, stat, it's penne arrabbiata. So it's just penne pasta with tomato arrabbiata sauce. Super good, super fast. Spicy, mm -hmm. so good. I love it. And that's this. that's another one that's like easy to church up too. To church up? Yeah, you can add to it. I've never heard is that a real saying? Church it up, son. Is that a real saying? I, I just made it one. Oh, Did you fart again? Yes, it smells so bad. It's putting me in a bad mood. <laughs> Got this Cajun style Alfredo pasta. It's not this, really as good as the one we No. Eat. This is really good. Again, if you get this, don't put it in the microwave. Get a pan, put a little bit of olive oil and some red wine and dump this in there and then cover it for like six minutes and then uncover it, stir it, stir it until it's like really hot. That's the way to make this taste good. But the other night. You just got your, you were mad watering. Mad yeah, top. I just had to swallow like a gallon of saliva. Ew. Yeah, when we made the Pioneer Woman recipe a couple days ago, that's kind of like this. Like 10 times I think better. that was the best thing you've ever made. No, I would oh. say that it is. Yeah, hundred so percent. It was like restaurant quality tasting food, and especially it was even better when I had the leftovers for breakfast. Well, I know I didn't get it was so good. Enough, but... So these are just like rice flour, water, tapioca, starch. So there's just not many ingredients, and it was like. Like three other things. Like so they're noodles stuff. that are already like semi cooked. Yeah, so I'm gonna put yeah. that in the soup tonight. You get that in the refrigerator. Yeah, I remember section. these are really good actually. I don't think I made them. I think the last time I bought them, we went away and they went bad for a week, which sticks. So there's that. Thai Lang shrimp skewers. <gasps> these look really good. I haven't bought these before, but I'm going to make these with this vegetable fried rice. I have, uh, when I go to this Chinese food place by our house, Man and Wrong, I always order extra sauce on the side. So I'm gonna make this and then pour the sauce over the rice. Adventurous, Danny. Um, okay, so then I got some almond butter, creamy almond butter. I have been liking keeping this on hand instead of peanut butter. And I like baking with it too, which I'm probably gonna bake with it. I've never tasted almond butter, but I love almonds, so I'm gonna try. Right now? I like peanut butter. <laughs> I don't like mixing up nut butters. It just sounds gross. Nut butter. <laughs> it's true. What do you think so? <laughs> it's good, 
because it tastes like almonds. I like almonds. Success! She's shivering so much. Good thing she's got a sweater. She's so cold. Okay, so the next thing we got pita chips to go with that hummus. Um, the hummus, actually, randomly enough, is really good if you dip cherry tomatoes in it, which sounds strange because it's tomato hummus, but it's really good. So, your turn, or I can just keep going. Oh, did you hear his fart? Yeah, he's like, he's like stretched out and he's like, oh, Bowser. Then we got some organic red onions. Ever since a subscriber told us that once you cut onions up, they attract all bacteria in the air. We go through way more onions because once I use it once, like even if it's just a little bit, I stare at it and I'm like, I should probably throw this away, huh? And I'm throwing it away. So They're super cheap though. Wow. Yeah, like a couple, like 40 cents or something like that. Another one of my top favorite snacks there, these smoke season almonds. They're really good. I feel like I can sit there and go through this whole bag, but like once you eat like a couple hundred of them, they're like really salty. A couple hundred. That yeah. makes sense, Dan. But you know, when you can't poop, you eat a bunch of these and it helps you poop. I actually don't know that. Then I got these organic red seedless grapes. I'm actually gonna rinse them off and stick them in the freezer because I've been really wanting to freeze grapes lately. So that's why I got these. I like the green grapes better. You like green apples better too. Yep. I got four Luna Nuts Over chocolate bars. I've been eating these things since I was like 14 and I don't eat them very often, but I pretty much always try if I'm going out the door and I know I'm gonna be gone for hours. I'm like, dude, I plan on eating, but knowing me, I'll get stuck somewhere and I won't be able to eat. So I try to always have them on hand so I can throw them in a bag. Anytime I know I'm going to be gone for like a long time. This is different than Cliff Bar, right? Yeah, That's but it's owned by the same. This is like the feminine oh. brand of Cliff. So Cliff owns Luna Bars. What is this? Lavender salt scrub? That's the stuff I was scrubbing my body with in the shower yesterday, but I'm almost out, so I bought more. Mm. It's good and it's cheap, and it makes my skin feel really nice. So I recommend that too. Got cheese! Got! Good on salad, good got, on got. pizzas. We got some yellow squash. I like to always have squash on hand. Zucchini squash and yellow squash. So you have more, and plus there's a good chance we're gonna use this in the soup tonight, which by the way, I found a good recipe, so. Yeah, and we're just saving the best for last. Um, We've got garlic and almond meal. And almond meal is kind of like a replacement for flour. Um, when Brie was over and we were making those banana bars, uh, we were using almond meal, and I was like, dude, this is pretty good, and it's almonds, so. That's what we got, guys. That's the end of our Trader Joe's haul. We're just holding our dogs now. Oh, say bye, puppies. We will see you all very soon. Hope you have a very good day. And yeah.